Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a, uh, I want to say app review slash hardware review. Um, just in that, today I'm going to be showing how to create your own custom NFC tags to create events based on when you want those events to occur, just by tapping your phone with an NFC tag. So of course, the first assumption is going to be that you have an NFC enabled device. So for example, for me, I have a OnePlus 3T, so it does have, or it does come built in with NFC. NFC. The next thing you're going to need to do is buy some NFC tags, kind of like the one you see here. Um, it does have a sticker on the back, so you can stick it uh, wherever you want. When I peel it off, you'll see a little bit of a sticker, but it's a nice little square. Um, I bought a bunch of um, the NFC tags by a company called Tag Stand. Um, I bought this particular model in TAG216. Um, I think it's got like a 256 bytes of memory or something like that. I'm, I didn't quite pay attention to that, but I know it was a little bit more than their um, model number ending in 213. So um, that's just the one I bought. It was a good deal on Amazon, so I bought an 8-pack. But of course, it can be whichever... Um, model or uh, version you want to get for yourself. Um, the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into Google Play and install an NFC um, writer. So that will allow you to create the action and write that action to the NFC tag that you purchased. So I installed a uh, version called um, or an app called Trigger that allows you to read and write NFC tags. As you can see, I've already created one to launch um, Pocket Cast when I touch an NFC tag. So I have a sticker on or an NFC tag on my uh, laptop at home. I touch it, it opens Pocket Cast. Nothing overly complicated about that one. Um, just in that one, I'm usually listening to uh, Pocket Cast on my laptop. And um, before I leave I want, or go anywhere, I want to make sure that Pocket Cast on my phone is synced up to my latest position. So tap it, it I tap the tag, Pocket Cast open, it'll refresh. So it'll sync my position and I'm good to go. Um, so what I'm going to do in this particular instance is I'm going to create a new tag. Um, so I'll touch the plus sign. And then I'll touch the third line item here for NFC. So when I touch an NFC tag, this event will occur. Um, it lets you create restrictions on when to run. So um, let's say you are you don't want it to work when you're sleeping, like if you're going to give access to your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or have a certain triggers only occur during lunchtime. So you can set those various restrictions. Um, in this case, I'm not going to set any restrictions just because I want this timer to launch any time I touch the tag. So there's uh, my NFC. I can still add restrictions if I want. I can add multiple triggers as well. So uh, when I touch um, NFC and let's say when I'm connected to a specific Bluetooth, device or um, not connected to anything, I can do that. Or when I'm connected to a specific Wi-Fi um, connection, I can do that. So I'm not going to add anything else here. So I'll hit the next button. So now it'll ask me to choose what action I want it to, what action I want to occur. So what I want is I want a timer to um, occur whenever I um, touch the tag. So I'll click on set timer. And I'll do next. It'll ask me how many minutes and seconds do I want that timer to be. So I want a timer to remind me after 45 minutes that, okay, it's, or as a reminder that, okay, it's time to go back to work from lunch. And in my case, I often forget, well, did I leave at 12 o'clock, 12 10, 12 15, 12 13? Um, so 45 minutes is a uh, timer for 45 minutes is a good amount of time to say, okay, hey, it's time to get back from lunch or I may, I may only be, you know, five or 10 minutes away, but 15 minutes is that good amount of time to get to my car and get through traffic and traffic lights and all of that. So I'll hit 45 minutes here. Um, I'll change into zero seconds and I'll do add to task. Um, so I'm gonna, and then it'll let me, um, name the task. So I'll do timer and, um, I'm also going to add a multiple event thing here. So I'm going to do, um, as you can tell, I listen to our pocket, our podcast is important to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, add a second action to launch an app, kind of like you saw for my individual action for pocket cast where, um, it will it should also launch um my po pocket cast when i touch the tag so i'm going to go to applications and shortcuts open application hit next and it'll load my application list so um i'll scroll on down to pocket cast 
So Pocket Cast, and I'll do Add to Task. It's added. So I'll hit Next, and it'll say Switch Task. So if you want, if you have an on and an off um, task, you can say, okay, well, and I tap it the first time, um, and this happens, but when I tap it a second time, the reverse happens. You, um, as an action, that can be set as well. I don't um, need that in this case, so I'm going to hit Done. So I'll say, okay, place my t device over the tag to start writing. So I'll touch it. And it'll say tag written successfully. It's ready to use. So I'll hit done. So now that that tag has been written, I'm going to go back. And um, it'll give me a pop-up notification when the tag is run. And you'll see the timer show up for 45 minutes. So I'm going to actually clear all these other notifications out of the way so they're not in the way. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch my tag. And so it vibrates and, said, and um, will open Pocket Cast. You get the nice no toaster notification at the bottom saying timer and Pocket Cast. So po we had Pocket Cast is open. And I now have a notification that tells me that, okay, at 1.19 p.m., my timer is going to go away. So I know that at that time, it, um, it's time to go home from lunch. So, so as soon as I don't see that timer anymore, it'll, it will go away. The alternative is to set an alarm uh, trigger. So I can set an alarm for 45 minutes from now and have it um, go off or basically buzz my phone. So there is that alternative. But now that I have this trigger, I can, um, stick to the sticker on my desk at work, tap it. So it will set the timer. It'll, um, refresh, open pocket cast. So that refreshes and I'm good to go. And that is all for that. Um, so as far as the app itself, um, it does have a number of, uh, free features. As you saw, you can si also sign into, um, via Google to back everything up. Um, in the settings menu, you can show uh, welcome and hints, description of task list. Um, I set my preferred music player for Google Play Music. You can back up and restore your ta um, various um, tags. Um, you have various other tasks as far as other additional information to show. For notifications, you can have a not uh, use a notification bar, toast messages, both, whichever one you want. Um, when to vibrate the timer ringtone so i can i'll set my timer ringtone for that just so it goes off when um it when i want it to go off um and that's about it um as far as the pro version i don't think it's here but let's i can click here um in the pro feature it's limited to uh or it tells you that that feature is part of the trigger pro i can sign in to get a free seven day trial or i can hit upgrade um, it'll tell you how much it costs to upgrade. It's two ninety nine at the moment, so you get additional uh, features as well. So if you want um, battery features, um, specific times, charging, headset, calendar events, things like that, you can get that as well. But um, basically, that's about all there is for that. So it's pretty nifty as far as um, what you can do with writing your own custom NFC tags. Um, so th that was just one instance, but let's say you want to have specific, um, triggers for when you touch the NFC tag, like, so I'll create another one just for example, but if you want, for example, to turn your Wi-Fi and, um, your Wi-Fi on when you touch a tag, um, or if you want the toggle to happen when you touch the tag, so Bluetooth on and off, uh, Wi-Fi on and off. So, for example, if you're and you're getting in your car and it's connected to, you connect your phone via Bluetooth, you can set that toggle and then switch Wi-Fi off and then have the reverse happen when you tap it again. For example, when you get to work and you want to connect your Wi-Fi, but you don't need Bluetooth to kind of manage your device uh, radios that way. Um, so that's really all there is for that. And there's a variety, a, a bunch of different NFC writing apps in the Google Play Store. So you, um, you don't necessarily have to use this particular one, but it's the one that was recommended by the tag company, NFC tag company that I bought my NFC tags from. So, so far it works nicely, but there are other alternatives. So if this one changes, for example, or if I want to, or the one feature I didn't see was that directly refreshing my podcast by using the specific command for that. So I don't have to open the app. There's other apps that handle that better than the one I'm using. But this works for me for now. So I'll give it a shot, see how long that lasts, and use the other one if I want to use that. 
But that is actually all for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. If you want to support the show and if you like the videos and you want to see more or get them in your RSS client of choice, then you can support the show on Patreon, patreon.com slash PatelN01. And of course, all links, subscription links, social media links, and all of that good stuff can be found on the website at PatelN01.com. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.